Welcome back. It is the fourth day here. As I promised, I will always try to continue to be, you know, back on a day-to-day basis here, you know, five days a week, you know, at least not at five days a week, at least, you know, every Monday. Uh, but I try to stay giving these opportunities for you because I know a lot of people are struggling. You know, a lot of people have messaged me saying, you know, they might be homeless and stuff like that. And I completely understand that. That's why I have started this channel, because I want you to know about these side hustles. And I don't think that they get mentioned a lot. So this one is called VG, VGM. And so basically you can get paid for testing unreleased products and they use the information to determine your eligibility in play tests or, or in focus groups. So you can sign up to be a, um, a respondent with VG, VGM. And if you go into their about section, um, you know, they tell you a little bit about themselves. So basically our clients include Amazon, Tercent, Google, and more. With offices in the U.S., U.K., and Dubai, we have experience consulting thousands of focus groups, of conducting um, thousands of focus groups, usability, stud- um, usability stud- studies, um, concept um, evaluation, product testing, and online surveys all on a global scale. So they have very much experience in different things. So basically... Um, you're testing different products or different video games and things to that nature. And basically, VEGM is a multi-national um, market research and technology firm specializing in bespoke quantitative um, and quantitative um, customer insight studies with an in-house software development team. So you're basically testing different software products or different video games to see if it's something that they can release to the actual public. So it's pretty cool that, you know, you're testing unreleased products and you get paid for it. Um, I want to say, like, at least you get paid between maybe $50 to $100 um, per um, testing. Um, But that also depends on whatever focus group or research study project you get into it and how much ever they're paying. So they can pay more or less than that. It just all depends on. But they will tell you when you get invited into it. Um, but like I said, um, if you want to go and actually sign up to become a respondent, you can go to this page right here, egm.co slash respondent.html. Now, I will say again, like I always tell you guys, when it comes to these different product research testings or different focus groups, it's important that you pay very close attention to whatever instructions that they give you. It's important that you're not falsifying you know, your name or who you are, what age, what demographic you're in, because they might be looking for a specific demographic. And you never know. One of the things that I don't always mention is that if you falsify this now, what if you get selected for something that you really do qualify? And then they say, well, I can't accept you because I don't know if you're telling the truth based on the information you told me last time. So it's really important that, you know, you're, you're doing your due diligence to give them the real honest you. You know, because they want real people like you to test their products. If you're telling lies, if you're just trying to get in because you want the money, it's not going to cut it. You know, I have to be straightforward with you guys because I know some of the people have lied on some of these surveys. And, you know, that's not you doing yourself a due service because eventually it's going to get caught up with you and they might ban you. So don't lie. Just tell them the truth. Because it's all they always constantly doing different surveys, different research studies, different focus groups, um, different product testing. So if you don't get selected for this particular one, it's a chance, it's a good chance that you might get selected for another one. But if you lie and try to deceive people, then you're not going to get selected for anything and they will ban your account. So that's why I have to tell you guys that just to let you guys know that this, you know, these these companies ain't playing, you know. So go ahead and fill out all of this information. You can read a little bit more about them, but I'm not going to hold you guys up too long. But this is just another stream, a source of income that you might want to sign up for because, hey, we're trying to deal with multiple streams of income. And if you don't know what my channel is about, if you're new, thank you for subscribing. Um, I really appreciate it. But, we're, you know, we are trying to grow our numbers here. We're a small channel. We want to get to a thousand by the end of the year. It can happen. Um, 
but I'm not going to hold my expectations for that because I know how people are. You know, they subscribe and they unsubscribe, but that's the reality of being a YouTuber. But you guys don't want to hear all that. Um, but just go ahead and sign up for this and let me know if you like it or not. And other than that, take care of money, money makers, and I will see you tomorrow, the last day in the week.